Good morning, my dear friends, and welcome to a new Let's Play. I am Lock Lackey, and today we're going to be playing a little game called Vanquish. This game was actually recommended to me. Uh, I just made a post on Twitter just kind of asking, like, what would you guys want to see? Oh, no, wait, that was in a YouTube video. And uh, Brian, um, uh, one of my online chums, uh, suggested Vanquish. And the way that he convinced me to do it is all he had to say was that it was developed by Shinji Mikami creator of The Evil Within, and of course, pioneer of the Resident Evil series, and I was... I was in. So, uh, let's play it on normal. Vanquish. Also, Brian is legendary with his knowledge of the Dark Souls uh, lore. It's, it's, it's tremendous. So, folks, I know nothing about this game, uh, other than the fact that Shinji Mikami um, developed it. And, uh... And this is another game, much like Goldeneye and Devil May Cry, that's just been sitting on my shelf for a very long time, and I just never... Had an urge to play it until now. I have no. Sam, how's the view on your monitor? Blue. Looking good. The scenery's a little bland, though. All right. Let's proceed with functionality testing. Sure. Let's do that. We're starting with electro optical targeting systems calibration. Okay. Sam, I'm going to display a virtual target. Try to follow it visually. No problem. Uh. Oh, I'm following it, visually. Ah? Whoop! Boy. <laughs> this is... My panning is very rough. If things seem backwards, let me know, and I'll adjust the optical nerve sensors. That's fine. Ask me if I'm inverted. Come on! You know, this is a real pain in the ass. How many times are you guys gonna make me do this? Jesus, Sam. Don't be a dick. It's important we have baselines, Gideon. Just because you can read a manual doesn't mean you know what you're doing. Oh! Sass from the glasses man. I miss his name, to be honest. Um, tutorial menu. Shit, okay. True. You know I know what I'm doing, so let's do something different. Wow. What's on today's test schedule? I don't like this protagonist at all. I know you're in a rush to get to the bar, but we've got a lot to go over. Ah, he's an alcoholic. There we go. to you now. What was that? Control to me? What now? What? Uh, movement. Hey, here we go. Give us some basic rotational movement readings. I'll do that. Okay, dodging works. Player movement. I did. I did that. Uh, vault. Ah, okay. There we go. Hang on. Vault back over there. Ha ha. Ooh, that was that was a lot of that was a lot of rolling around like a child. Wah, wah. Skeletal actuators functioning nominally. We're going to get readings on boost limitation. Engage whenever you want. Boost limitation. Oh my god! Oh my god! That's amazing. Look at that! I can slide around. That is beautiful. Ooh, can I? I'm missing all of these, but. That's maximum practical output on our current reactor design. Oh. The suit's cooling system can't keep up with that output level. It's causing some temporary performance loss, especially in the skeletal actuators. I'm yep. losing like 30% mobility here. Look at this. Within our project goals. Elena, let's move on before Frank reads us the project grant, chapter and verse. God, Sam. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Don't, don't gang up on the poor doctor. Come on. Okay. Okay, so now we're doing the full, uh... The full circle. It's okay. This is amazing. I did it! Did I do it? I did it! Weapons and tactics. Sorry, folks. I just kind of want to try all of these because I'm curious. Proceed with test. Affirmative. Launching virtual target. Don't you hate it when you don't like the protagonist? That's what I'm getting with this guy, Sam Gideon. He's just kind of an asshole, isn't he? There you go. We're going to adjust target acquisition. I don't know what that means, but you do that, Doc. I trust you completely. Hiya! I don't know why I made that noise, but hey ho. Fire while aiming at the target. Is that not how? Is that not how that works? 
Oh, I see. I got you. I got you. I did it right that time. Ha! Ah! This is neat. Oop. No, you don't. Anybody else? Ah, uh, you were silly enough to make your way here to be shot by me recoil repeatedly. Compensators are on and functioning normally. You can't suppress the recoil anymore. Sam, your weapon isn't exactly stock. Look at this. I'm changing blade modes. Let's try firing something different. Uh. Oh, I see. Oh, it's a shotty gun. Shotty. Ooh, ooh, can I hit you both? Kind of. Hello, boys. Pew and pew. You had that coming, all of you. Okay, let's try this weapon. Is this not what I had before? Do I have two assault rifles? We're still working on expanding oh, the I see. Configuration stored in memory. You can't just scan whatever you want and have it work. Hmm. That being said, go ahead and activate the scanner. Activate the scanner? Ah, what's happening? Okay. Oh! Oh! Changing weapons will replace the currently equipped weapon. Picking up the same type of weapon will replenish your ammunition. That makes sense. So this is a grenade launcher? Ooh, no, it's a blade launcher. Excuse me. Disc launcher. Fantastic. Actually, I kind of like that. Disc launcher. That's neat! Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna use a rocket launcher now. Ha! That's beautiful. That's beautiful. I upgraded it. Acquiring an upgrade item will upgrade the current via, uh, the current weapon via the blade system and increase its effectiveness in various ways. Picking up the same weapon when already carrying the maximum amount of ammunition will allow you to proceed on the upgrade path for that weapon. That's pretty cool. This thing is even picking up surface scratches. Blade can only replicate what already exists, even the imperfections. This is this is now we're going to check the grenade mounts. Oh, it's a homing missile, okay. Uh throw a grenade at the target. I can do that. Ha! Good night, sirs. Beautiful! This is effective against large groups of enemies or enemies hiding behind cover. That makes sense. Yep. Look how into it he gets too. Oh, that was a miss. Hey! Eh? I don't know why you gave me these, but thank you. That was a miss. That was that's my fault. Hiya! Hold that for me, would you? Boom! Beautiful. Uh, switch grenade types. What happened there? An EMP. Oh, an EMP. Uh, typically disable this target from moving for a limited period of time, and then I can wait for them to do that for a while. Um, close quarters. Let's do that too. We need to get some data on how far we can push the actuators. I'm releasing an object to test your impact force. Good. So I'm gonna get to punch it. The Pentagon were happy to lend us a brand new piece of equipment: electromagnetic armor. Punch it as much as you'd like, Sam. Something tells me that Sam's into that. Hep. Confirming electromagnetic reaction. Sam, give the electromagnetic engine generating the reaction force a second to cool. So we can't hit the thing too quick, huh? Go ahead and punch it again. Hep. Nothing beats the old one, too. That was just Looks one like idiot. Still got some bite in you, Sam. I want to. I want to slide here. Hip. This takes too long to sort out. Heh, heh, heh. Come on. Now look how long that takes to cool down. Madness. Melee, attack, melee attacks depend on your currently equipped weapon. Each has its own merit, so experiment to find those best suited to the situation. That's interesting. Alright, AR mode. What is that? Sam. We took the measurements we made of your brain's sympathetic nervous system and tuned the R's suit synaptic emitters to augment your reactions under fire. Doesn't really make walking around with electrodes all day any more comfortable. This guy's voice. Small price to pay for having elevated synaptic activity during critical fight or flight situations. Uts. 
Will you two quit bickering like a couple of MIT grad students? Not that was a very specific insult. A test of the R's functionality. Let me know when you're ready, Sam. I am ready. I guess. Okay. Ow! Jeez, come on! So is that just supposed to... <laughs> this part of the tutorial is just getting shot at a bunch. Taking critical damage will automatically trigger AR mode until your suit overheats, allowing you to react to imminent danger. Oh, that's kind of cool. I implementing the manual trigger system you asked for. The system will automatically lock if it detects any life-threatening imbalances in your hormonal levels due to extended use. Interesting. Uh... Oh, I see. Oh, then I get a little slow-mo action. That's neat. Gavin Free would be proud. All right. Boom! <clears throat> Fire on the target while in manually triggered AR mode. Is that not what I did? Try again. What are you talking about? Do I have to kill all of them? Is that... Ha! I don't understand what I'd be doing wrong. Eh. Oh, hang on. There we go. Did I do well? I uh, allow you to intercept attacks such as missiles. However, like boost, this mode will overheat your suit, so use it wisely. Interesting. All right. Yes, we will exit the tutorial. And we'll Very well. I think that's enough for today's test. Good job, Sam. That little workout made me hungry. Oh, Later. God. You up for some lucky this, <laughs> this protagonist, I mean, the game so far is pretty, pretty swell. But this protagonist, I do not like at all. Maybe he'll grow on me. You never know. He's no Sebastian Castellanos. Platinum games, folks. And birds. Platinum birds. The city's fancy. Director Shinji Mikami. Oh, legend. Absolute legend. Producer Atsushi Inaba. In Inaba. Art director, Naoki Katakai. I'm going to stop trying to pronounce these. Because uh, I don't want to offend anyone, Shinji Usui. I don't know what this room's for. But it seems significant. Ah. Uh? Everybody seems so happy. Please don't make anything bad happen to them. It's such a peaceful looking city. Oh. Hey, Earth. That's right. Do your stretches before imminent death. You might as well. Uh. Oh, oh no. Not San Francisco! Somebody tell IGN. Well. So long, fellas. Oh, why'd they have to show the child? Jeez, that's harsh. Oh. Uh, is that doing any damage? Oh, no. My phone! My soda! My entire city. Oh, dear. Oh, boy. Oh, jeez. I was gonna say he almost got it wet. Nope. Oh, what's happening? It's okay, stay in there. I'll get the next one. Oh no. Everybody's just exploding. This is intriguing. Oh, these people are fine. Thanks, Golden Gate Bridge. Look at that. This, the, the, this, the, 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 the ocean was boiling. That's crazy. Oh no. Uh, oh, jeez. A poor old man. Look at that. That seems 
fairly serious. That's, that could be a problem. Oh, boy. You guys okay? Are you okay, everyone on the bridge? God help us all. Somebody was going to say that eventually. <laughs> the Order of the Russian Star now welcomes you to the inauguration of a new Russian state. My order is now the only authority in Russia. In ten hours, we exercise our newfound strength once again. There is but one way to prevent the destruction of New York City. Your complete and unconditional surrender. Who was that guy? My fellow Americans, today has been a day of great tragedy. San Francisco will never be the same. And the toll of our war has increased by countless men, women, and children. Their loss is deeply felt by every American. To those who have committed this heinous act, we say firmly, we will not negotiate with those who wish to destroy us. Our strength is unmatched. Our will resolute. We will be victorious. God bless you all. And God bless the United States of America. Oh dear. That was a very rousing speech. But... Responsible for the coup in Moscow. Jesus, this voice acting. I tell ya. Operations being led by a red known as Zaitsev. Oh yeah. Sir, there's this no smoking Sam. in here. DARPA sent him to come along with us. Man, we've got eight hours to stop New York from becoming the next San Francisco. Too Make soon. No mistake. We will stop that from happening. This guy. I'm not sure if you've noticed, but your new friends don't seem too fond of you. Nobody is. The operatives take their orders directly from POTUS and SecDef. These guys are just interested in marking their territory. Sam, remember why we're here. <laughs> Remind me. Pay no attention to the background. He seemed nervous. A bit jittery. We'll Somebody's get the professor back. This place, hell, even this suit runs on his energy designs. He's too valuable to kill. I know. Well, this good. Is the toy you've been working on. scratched. You did get some training in this thing, right? Our simulators are very thorough. They did quite a number on you, huh? We could use you as a test subject at DARPA. I will respectfully decline. Oh. Guys, guys! Same team! Though I don't like either of you, so I don't, I don't really care who wins here, but... We'll have to put this on hold. You're not allowed to smoke on the ship. Nice. That's probably the closest thing we'll get to a one-liner in this entire game. You know, I gotta say... Oh no. Act 1, Mission 1. Landing. Alright. I'm all over this. I was about to shoot at them. But they're probably my teammates. Haha. <laughs> Guys, wait up! Ow. I was trying to be all cool. Oh no. Oh no. I didn't see anything happen. Don't worry. 
Pardon me, sir. No. Did you see that too? R burns. Whoop. Just showing off, sliding around like an asshole. Oh, ah! I don't know which team we're on. I don't know which ship is mine. Uh, yay and or darn it. I don't know what's happening. You can make that. You can make that. Ooh, just barely. Well played, ship. Are we on that ship? I don't actually know if that's our ship. This is us? No? Yeah, you can't make that one. Yee. That's a problem. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Just blow it open. Good job. There's a whole lot of running around here. Oh, look at them! They're adorable! Is it... Geth? The Geth are here? What game am I playing? I have no... <laughs> I, I've, I've completely... I'm lost on this plot so far. Bad stuff's happening. I guess the Geth are... The Geth hate San Francisco. That's fair enough. IGM was probably pretty harsh on the Mass Effect 3 ending. That's why they're so upset about this. Oh boy. Hoorah! There's... there's... Apes, that's too soon, buddy. Too soon. I, I just... I don't like... I mean, the game is just starting, to be fair, but I don't care much for any of these characters yet. Look at him go. Oh, God. Eventually, at some point, they might let us shoot something. But until then, this, we'll just keep watching cutscenes. That's fine. Vanquish. Marines. Oh, no. What? Why? What was your plan there? That was a terrible landing. You guys should watch. All right. No. What is going on? <laughs> I'm so confused. They were escaping, and now they're not? I guess? That guy's got a big gun. Th that's us! You know, I can, I can do some of this if you want. You don't have to do it all in this scene. Okay. That seems like a good place to stop, folks. So, uh, yeah, a lot of lot of lot of cutscenes. We're finally getting to the action, so that's good. But uh, let me know what you think of the game so far. It's uh, not much has been accomplished so far on our end, but uh, it's still it's pretty interesting, if not a little chaotic. But anyways, folks, I have been Lock Lackey. This has been Vanquish. And um, I guess I'll see you uh, on the next episode, whenever that may be. I kind of got a few series on the go right now. I've got this Devil May Cry, Golden Eye. I'm thinking. I might even have another game that I might want to start playing, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. But anyways, folks, uh, let me know if you've played this game before, because I'm interested to know your thoughts. And, um, yeah, just feel free to let me know uh, if, you're, if you're enjoying it so far. So, again, thank you very much for joining me, folks. I have been Locke Lackey, and I will see you next time on Let's Play Vanquish. Take care.